Hello, welcome to Bolo 8.0 user guide for the supervisor tier of the application. Before you could begin, you would have, have received the credentials from the site administrator giving you access to the Bolo website. Upon your first time logging in, You would have to type in this temporary password. This would direct you to the password reset screen where you'll set your password to the following criteria. Now that we have logged in, here we see all the active bolos from all agencies. As a supervisor, excuse me, admin, as an admin, you could only edit bolos within your agency. So if I attempt to edit this, which is not for my agency, I can receive this error. But if I attempt to edit this, which is from my agency, it takes me to the edit page. Um, so bolos can be, let me just get rid of this alert. Bolos can be filtered by agency, internals, my bolos, which are created by me, and I can cycle through different agencies. And the create tab, this is where I can create bolo reports mark them as internal and non-internal, date reported, time reported, category, um, auto theft is for vehicles, bolt theft is for bolt, bolt thefts, in general is for other, such as missing person, arson, etc. Featured image is the main image that gets displayed in the front page, while these two are images that may help with the uh, bolo at hand here where we could put youtube links or any video link that may help additional information and summary to see a more in-depth explanation of this i recommend checking the officer tier user guide this tab is for where archive bolos go this bolo is archived as a super as an admin you're able to restore bolos that have been deleted. Give example, I will restore this. And now let's go to the home page. And it has been restored. And I also have the power to delete it back. So let's archive this. It's gone. Now let's go back to the archive page. And here it is. We'll also check out agency directories where I can view all the agencies that are currently active in the site. The search feature, which allows me to search for bolos. Search test. I created several bolos with the summary name test. And here they are. If I would like to search specifically within an agency, I believe it's FIU2. You can search test. Oh, no matches. No worry. It further helps prove the functionality of this search feature. And here's the Ferrari I was looking for. So this was uh, this was created under the Gmail under the Gmail agency. Here's the admin tab, where this tab is not present in the officer nor the supervisor. You have the dashboard, which is this main page. You have agency management, which selects you manage all the active agencies 
you're only allowed to edit as a admin user you're only allowed to edit agencies which are your own so since this account was created under the FIU agency I can only edit that agency as the admin user if I would like to create an agency I am allowed to do that privilege so for example I could create FIU 3.0 And the domain will still be at fiu.edu for the sake of simplicity. Um, the heck, we'll do F FIU 3. Address 456 Maine, City, Miami, State, Florida, zip code 33199, phone number. I don't remember, so put 305-305-3055. Here we select a logo image and a sealed image, and if desired, a watermark. And submit. Now let's go back to agency management. And now we have FIU 3.0. And even though I created this agency, I still can't edit this agency strictly because this agency is no longer, it's not part of my domain because my domain is FIU and this is FIU 3.0. Now we'll check out the user management tab. It's taking a little bit to load. Sorry for the wait. Here is where we can manage users. From here, we see all the active users specifically of our agency. So, here we could see the root user. I haven't made the tutorial for this yet. And we see supervisor, admin, admin, supervisor, all created by me. As you can see, they all share my email address. And yeah, we're able to edit them. And can update my information. Um, I could change myself to administrator, officer. I can't update myself to your group. Only group can update me to root. But I can do everything else. Let's go back to user management. Forgive me, all oh, my browser seems to be slowing down. And give me one second to free up some RAM. Okay, sorry about that. And let's go to Bolo Category Management. Here we're able to create categories. So I can click Add New Category, specify the name, so I could create temp. And the field could be um, space temp spaces temp houses. This makes no sense. You could preview the template. And this is how the template would look. And now this template could be used, this category could be used for all the bolos within your agency. So if you were administrator, you'd be able to create different categories to be viewed. And up here, we have our account settings. 
where you get to see their details, email, section, rank, role. Here's where we can change password, which we've seen this feature before when we first logged in, and notification. Here's where you're able to subscribe to giant agencies under notification. Right now, there's currently none subscribed because this is a brand new created account. But when you click more agencies, it allows you to subscribe. So I could choose to subscribe, subscribe to the Gmail department. And this will allow my subscription to pop up in this notification section. So let's go to the notification section to see. So basically what this means is every time this department creates a bolo or modifies a bolo, I will be notified. This could come in handy if there's a case on a specific department that you would like to get information on or be up to date with. This is a very good feature for that. And this concludes the user guide demo for the administrator page of Bolo 8.0.